Hi. Depending on where you live, you may know the groundhog by several names, including woodchuck, whistle pig, or even just piggies, if you're a southerner. Groundhogs are rodents, and with that comes large incisor teeth that grow all the time. In fact, the groundhog's front teeth can grow one sixteenth of an inch every week. They keep their teeth from growing through their gums and harming themselves. Groundhogs gnaw on wood, thus the nickname woodchuck. Thanks to Moo for requesting a groundhog video. Let me know what videos you would like to see. Groundhogs are rodents and part of the squirrel family. They live in a variety of terrain, including pastures, woodlots, and infamously under barns or even your porch. The clearing of forests and the killing of predators by the early settlers actually helped the groundhog expand their territory and become more populous. Groundhogs have the amazing ability to move 700 pounds of dirt an hour. They build an impressive underground home that's between 10 and 60 feet in length. Just like your house, these tunnels contain numerous chambers or rooms for sleeping, eating, and bathroom facilities. Two to five entrances allow easy access and escape from predators. Groundhog adults are fairly solitary and males and females come together to mate. Mating season is in early spring. After that, the female starts preparing a nest in her tunnel. Gestation is 31 days, and babies are born in April and May. Young babies are called kits, but on the East Coast, you may have heard them called chucklings. Two to six babies are born naked and blind. The kits stay with mom through the summer and disperse in the fall. The father may occasionally come to visit the family, but he doesn't participate much. Groundhogs typically live from three to six years in the wild. Groundhogs live throughout the United States and up into Canada. Their cousin, the prairie dog, lives in the Great Plains states, and their other cousin, the marmot, lives in the Pacific Northwest. With their large bodies and short legs, you may not think the groundhog can move very fast to escape predators. Groundhogs typically stay near their burrows. However, they can also climb trees to escape. These are two pictures of groundhogs I rehabilitated. Young groundhogs typically, typically come into rehab because they are hit by cars. The second reason is they are attacked by dogs. The name whistle pig comes from the sound they make when they want to warn each other or when they are hungry. I've had groundhogs whistle at me, and it's pretty darn cute. Groundhog bodies are made for cold weather. They have thick fur and a thick layer of fat. In fact, some states still consider them a fur-bearing species for trapping and hunting. Other than humans, coyotes, foxes, and badgers are their main predators. Groundhogs hibernate in winter. They are true hibernators and dig a new tunnel or den below the frost lane to hibernate in. Their body temperature goes down as low as 40 degrees during this time, and they lose about half of their body weight. Males emerge from hibernation before females. They scope out emerging vegetation and sniff out female dens. I took this picture in spring near my home. Groundhogs are predominantly vegetarians, and this one was munching down in the creek. Groundhogs love fruits and veggies, and in rehab eat a lot of sweet potatoes and carrots. In the wild, they love the wild black raspberries, dandelions, timothy grasses, and clover. Groundhogs sometimes get into gardens, where they love tomatoes. Fencing is the best way to keep them out. The fence does not have to be very tall. Three feet will do. 
The most important thing, if groundhogs are getting into your garden, is to bury the fence underground at least 18 inches. An electric fence will also work. Place the lowest wire four inches off the ground and a second wire eight inches high. You must keep the grass weed-eated under the fence so it doesn't cause the lower wire to short out. Clear any rock piles or brush areas out from near your garden. This will help to eliminate places for them to burrow and hide. Groundhogs will also munch down on food left out for outside pets. If you have outside pets, feed them and then remove the dishes. Don't leave pet food sitting out. Farmers often dislike groundhogs because they dig burrows in fields where cattle or horses are. Stepping in a groundhog hole can cause injury. However, the groundhog is actually very good for the soil. They aerate and mix the soil, increasing fertilization and soil health. Their bathroom chambers provide nutrients for many field plants. In addition, groundhogs also help support other species of wildlife. Abandoned burrows may become homes for foxes, skunks, or rabbits. And of course, we can't forget Groundhog's Day when all eyes are on poor Punxsutawney Phil. Celebrated on February 2nd, the groundhog is observed to see if he sees his shadow. The holiday derives from the Pennsylvania Dutch supervision superstition, sorry about that, the Pennsylvania Dutch superstition that if a groundhog emerges from its burrow on this day and sees its shadow due to clear weather, it will retreat to its den and winter will go on for six more weeks. If it does not see its shadow because of cloudiness, spring will arrive early. Groundhogs are truly fascinating animals. They play an important part in their ecosystems. In addition to helping the soils, they also help humans. Groundhogs have a liver that is very similar to the human one. Groundhogs get woodchuck hepatitis and are used in medical research to find a cure. By studying how the hepatitis virus spreads through the groundhog's body, researchers are able to synthesize medicines and vaccines to treat the disease in humans. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel for more wildlife videos. And as always, have a fabulous day.